what is perceived as hypocrisy in the way people treat other people, depending on their political orientation. The left can praise George Floyd, a nine-time convicted criminal, and build a statue in his name, then I can vote for Donald Trump, the convicted felon. If the left can forgive Bill Clinton for cheating on his wife, then I can vote for Donald Trump, a convicted felon. If the left can forgive Cardi B for roofing men and stealing from them when she was a stripper, then I can vote for Donald Trump, a convicted felon. If the left can slap Hillary Clinton on the wrist for making up lies about Trump and Russia colluding, then I can vote for Donald Trump, the convicted felon. If E. Jean Carroll can go around saying rape is sexy, then I can vote for Donald Trump, the convicted felon. If Joe Biden can forgive student loans, even when the Supreme Court says he can't, then I can vote for Donald Trump, the convicted felon. If Hunter Biden can bring cocaine to the Capitol and get away with it, then I can vote for Donald Trump, the convicted felon. If Biden, Obama, and Clinton can illegally spy on Trump, then I can vote for Donald Trump, the convicted felon. If the left can suppress Hunter's laptop and Ashley's diary, then I can vote for Donald Trump, the convicted felon. You see, the left thought that convicting Trump and making everyone say convicted felon repeatedly would damage his reputation. All they did was unite us even more and show us just how far they were willing to go to win. I truly believe the Democrats will stop at nothing to ensure Trump is not the 47th president. Nothing is beneath them at this point. So yes, although Trump is a convicted felon now, he will still get my vote. I don't care if I have to write Trump's name on the ballot. America needs to be fixed no matter what it takes. We need to make sure this election is too big to rig. I can't say it enough. Get out and vote. Take your neighbors with you. Vote. Trump 2024, baby. Let's go, Brandon. It is common to agree with the assertion that Trump's conviction has galvanized his supporters, highlighting the belief that the legal actions against him were driven by political motives. His supporters rally around calls for political unity and action, viewing it as a stand against perceived injustices in the political arena. This touches on themes of personal responsibility and the sincerity of individual convictions and actions. Despite Donald Trump's personal beliefs, the steadfast loyalty of his followers is seen as an expression of their own convictions and a stand against perceived injustices. Acting on deeply held beliefs and making personal choices is viewed as an exercise of free will and an authentic practice of life. The impact of the conviction on the collective psyche of Trump's supporters is significant. The perception of unfairness and double standards strengthens their unity and resolve. Frequent mentions of various figures and perceived injustices amplify the sense of prejudice and unfair treatment. This examination reveals how emotions can evoke a collective determination in support of Trump, manifesting as a form of solidarity and resistance to perceived systemic corruption.